suffered procurement delays, and we have been given a date of September 4th for the completion of the screening room. So, Honorable CS, are you confirming it does not exist? It exists only that it has not been activated, but the system exists. And the reason why I need to clarify this is that the moment you activate it, you will start sending content, but the content will not have a destination because the destination is still being put together. And that destination is what we call the Talent Screening Center at Kasarani. And I invite this Honorable House, they can visit Kasarani at the Kenya Academy of Sports and confirm that actually we are working round the clock to complete the screening room at the Kenya Academy of Sports in Kasarani. There's but the point, system is... point of order from uh, the Deputy Speaker. Uh, uh, Cabinet Secretary is confirming that when the, the President launched something that was not ready, that is what we need to know. Because if it's not live to the public, then it was not necessary to launch it. So let's get a confirmation. He's saying it's under progress. So whatever was launched is something under construction. I think we need that, that should come out clearly. Don't try and say we are building and it's staying here and it's in Kasarani. It was, it was launched, which means it should have been live to the public, and it is not. I know there are many interventions on this. Honorable CS, please save yourself what you see in the house. Because the question the Deputy Speaker asked is whether what was launched in State House exists as it is as or not. And I think what I'm hearing from you is that it doesn't exist. Honorable Ocheng, I'll hear Honorable Ocheng, then I'll hear Honorable Fatuma. Honorable Speaker, I've sat here and listened pensively to my friend, the CS for Sports. And I can tell you for sure, from where I sit, that he's not in charge. Because he's kept passing the buck to federation after federation. That on this Olympics, it's the Olympics committee that is in charge. On football, it is the football federation. It can't be that way. Honorable members, order, I, I, I want to ask my question. I want to ask my question. Yes, ask Madam a Speaker. question Madam Speaker. on the what, same, on the what, same, Talanta Hela, because I will open a few others as follow-up questions. No, Madam Speaker, I was going to ask all so that I don't have to come back, if you allow me. Honorable members, we've already exhausted the one hour that the speaker had intended for this question. Okay. I would request okay. we okay. let the CS finish, then I will give a few more interventions, and then we will go to the second part of the question, which actually now touches on aquatic, and we had a few members well, on the well, same. Well, so well, the CS can finish. Honorable Cheng, you'll wind up, then I'll give the CS and then we'll continue with the others later. Yeah, yes, the yes. what I wanted to know from this, the minister is what he is doing as minister to ensure that he takes back the charge of the ministry and sports affairs in the country. Number two, we've heard that this government works through something called one government approach. And that's what will happen the question by the deputy speaker. Is it now the police of government to keep launching things because it's just not sports? You tell the president to go and launch things that are not ready, then you tell us that there was procurement challenges. Why didn't you wait for the procurement challenges to be sorted out first before you launch, Chair? Yeah, thank you so much. Cabinet Secretary, please make it precise. Thank you. I'll be very precise on this, uh, Honorable Speaker. What I want to confirm is that the president launched a whole initiative. That initiative is called Talanta Hela. This initiative was launched on June 9. But it had a program. 